Well, here are some of my markers. Um, this is a Smart Parts INXE. Actually, I bought it as a backup marker, and uh, right now I'm uh, having plenty of markers, so uh, this one is probably going to go out. I uh, didn't really change that much. I just bought it like this here with a Freak Junior set, a clamping feet neck, a special ASA with on off, and a CP regulator. Um, well, like I said, I think I have something better now, which is uh, the main reason I'm getting rid of this. But uh, at the time when I bought it, I thought it would be a pretty decent backup. Since I'm not too fond of electronics, I'd rather not uh, keep this any longer. And my main marker is an uh, Airgun Design Stack 1. And there's a stiffy switch barrel on it with a couple of different inserts. And I was a bit creative, so I actually decided to put this uh, Apex tip on it. And uh, I must admit it uh, took some time to actually uh, get it on there because uh, the tip is made of aluminum and I uh, actually had to uh, use a file to uh, cut all the slits in it for the o-rings and stuff. But uh, finally I managed to uh, get it to the point where I like it. It's also a pretty silent barrel and it's pretty decent uh, even if the apex uh, tip is switched off. Um, this is the main marker. It's my Airgun Design Stack 1 with a warp left body. And the warp left has the advantage of having a really, really low profile. Of course, uh, it means that it's uh, basically impossible to attach a normal uh, hopper to it, unless you use an elbow. Um, the tube was hit a couple of times in the last couple of months, which meant that uh, it completely filled with broken paint, which was uh, really a pain to actually clean out, so I recently uh, decided to uh, put an extra cover over it to make sure that uh, that wouldn't happen anymore. Of course the marker itself is completely mechanical, but uh, the nice thing is that it has a pretty decent RT effect. So um, if you use a normal uh, regulator with 850 PSI output, it uh, doesn't do too well, but uh, if you use something uh, that's adjustable, like this uh, Air America regulator, it goes from uh, 0 to 1500 PSI, then you can actually uh, get the RT effect all the way up to uh, well, well over 20 balls per second. I think uh, 26 is uh, pretty uh, normal, and if you manage to put more pressure on it, it uh, should go even higher. don't see why anybody wants to waste that much uh, paint, but uh, yeah, I would say anything above, let's say, 15 balls per second is uh, already uh, plenty to uh, give somebody a uh, reason to uh, put their head down. Um, I like to have a feed tube as well, so um, the air can actually be uh, filled in the tank without having to take the tank from your back. And since I normally use a remote, it's uh, not really all too sensible to uh, have to take off the bottle every time. Oh, and of course, uh, on my uh, Tech One, I also built my own uh, stock, and uh, for uh, transport reasons. I wanted to make sure that it is actually uh, detachable, so uh, I uh, used the Borg approach of uh, keeping it simple. Just use the small uh, spring in here that actually connects to the hole over there. Used a couple of pins, made some keyholes, and uh, yeah, actually I'm uh, pretty much satisfied with the result. Um, no, the cue loader. I guess more people have used it and have used it for longer than me, so I won't say too much about it. Um, it just helps uh, in get keeping the profile low in shooting under just about any kind of uh, angle. And uh, of course, uh, if you have set it up right, it uh, seems to work most of the time. Um, this is my backup marker. It's also an Ergon Design Stack 1, but uh, this one has a normal body. It means that you can actually put uh, a hopper on it. Right now there's an Evolution 2. Uh, hopper on it. I haven't used it much, it just came together with the INXE and I think I'm going to keep it. I also have a warp left body for this marker, so uh, if I really really don't like it, I can convert it to become the same kind of marker that I already have. Well, that's just a 0.8 liter 200 bar bottle, the other one is a uh, 1.5 liter, which I think is something like 88 uh, cubic inch uh, 300 bar bottle, so 4500 PSI. That's just a uh, 3000 PSI. And then finally, my last marker is a Tipman A5 with an E-grip. 
uh, foldable stock. It had a UMP body when I bought it, but I recently sold that. I think that you shouldn't carry too much garbage along with you on the field. And it has a laptop big shot barrel with an apex tip. Um, I'm glad that it has an e-grip that you can actually uh, put down a volume of fire if you want to, but uh, most of the time I only give small bursts. Um, I'm using a V-Force Grills uh, mask. I did some small modifications. In the top I actually built two small fans because I realized that sometimes with typical Dutch uh, weather conditions it's really really humid. So um, I thought that I needed to have something to keep out uh, the fog. And I'm glad that I did because some of the games where most of my friends actually have fogged up masks I can still see a little bit. Just made a small cover on the back where I put a 9 volt battery in there and uh, now it's not in the way it should be because I want to disconnect it. But uh, normally there are two shades of uh, sheets of uh, elastic around it and keeps it in place pretty well. And the other thing I changed is on the inside. Um, it's for my uh, portafone or radio kit. Uh, it actually has an earpiece here and it has a microphone down there. And I must say that uh, it's probably one of the best things I did uh, for paintball because we normally play together with two or three friends and we all have the same style of playing which involves being pretty silent, moving quickly and taking advantage of opponents who are uh, drowned out by their own uh, marker noise. So then to be able to say, hey, there's a guy on the left side, if you sneak up on his left side, I come up on his right side, that's uh, pretty much an advantage. Um, and this is my Special Ops uh, broadsword uh, vest. Nice space for radio, um, for your normal game cards, which is very handy in big games. There's some small bags that I normally only put some rags in there to uh, clean up stuff. Um, for something to eat on the way. On the inside there is a nice big bag that uh, normally my um, drinking bag goes in. I have one of those uh, camel bags. And of course, really important if you're a Q-loader player, it actually has plenty of room for a Q-loader pot. And that's something that uh, not a lot of vests actually uh, allow. Oh, that's about it. Uh, oh, and it has room for the 1.5 liter or 88 cubic inch uh, bottle and actually some room to spare as well. So you can put a bottle cover over it and it will still work. Oh, that's uh, about the long and short of my uh, paintball outfit. I have some more stuff, camouflage gear, but uh, I think that's uh, not so interesting to watch. So, uh, well, I hope this uh, actually helps answer some of the questions that uh, some people online had over uh, what kind of uh, paintball kit uh, I have. Any questions? Just uh, send me a PM or uh, send me a message uh, below this uh, video.